Hai guys Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bersama Evan Davile di Kanada, Ontario uh, Hari ini guys Aku sangat bahagia sekali Dan I'm so excited Untuk menghadiri Virtual My Citizenship Canadian Canadian Citizenship Jadi uh, Kalau disebut ini Seremoni to become Canadian Kayak disumpah seperti itu guys Dan Ini akan merubah My life So that's why I'm so excited To be there So guys uh, Canadian citizenship Virtual or Taking ceremony for me Is today this morning Jadi I'm so happy to share my experience to all of you. I hope that you enjoy to watching this video. And I want to say thank you to my husband, to my family, to my friend, all to and to all my friend. Uh the love and support me I love you all tugas persiapannya sudah dipasang certificate and a couple small minor questions nothing to worry about and you will be all set to go all right okay all right so you are c43 all right so first thing i need to know is your name Eva finley perfect thank you Eva. and can i get your home mailing address please one four street east That's what we have here. So we're all good for the mailing address. And you're currently in Canada today? Yes. Are you in Canada? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Perfect, perfect. Question I have to ask everyone, Eva. Are you now or have you ever been in trouble with the law, justice, police, or immigration here in Canada or in any other country? No. No, good answer. I don't want that guy to the left of either. Let's <laughs> I don't know if we can trust him. <laughs> She's going to um, gonna have to. <laughs> you have with you today your PR card and yes. your driver's license or health card, right? Yes, there's a PR card. Okay, perfect. So what I'll get you to do with the PR card first is just hold it up nice and close to the camera so I can read the front of it. Just a little higher. Yeah, that's good. And a little closer now. There we go, right there. All right, and can I see the back as well, please? All right, great. And now either your driver's license or health card, I just need to see the front of one of them. Driving license. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So your PR card, in just a minute, we're going to cut it up. But the, before we do that, I just want to remind, I like to remind everyone, um, once you cut your PR card up, you won't be able to travel outside of Canada until you get your passport, okay? Okay. Okay. So, because once we cut it up, too late. <laughs> um, so what I'll get you to do now is uh, hold the PR card up in front of the camera and I'm going to have you cut it into four pieces, please.
suck. All right, perfect. <laughs> All right, and that's everything we need to do to get you registered. So the next thing I'll do is I'm going to move you into the ceremony room. Um, there'll be about 200 people in ceremony today once it starts. Okay. Uh, you're one of the first group of people actually to get registered. So I'm going to say it's probably going to be 20 minutes to a half an hour maybe before the ceremony actually starts. Um, but it'll start automatically from the room that I'm going to put you in. So once I move you, you don't have to do anything, okay? Okay. Uh, if you want to go off camera during that time, no problem. Just don't log out of Zoom. Uh, and once the ceremony starts, just make sure your camera's back on, okay? Okay. Any questions for me? No, maybe after. <laughs> okay, sure. All right, then, well, congratulations and enjoy your ceremony today. Thank you. You're very welcome. Welcome. welcome back. Thank you for your patience. My name is Funke and I'm presently located in West Lincoln. I am the clerk of the ceremony today. Please be aware that you will be muted for the majority of the ceremony to avoid any distractions and please ensure that your video remains on throughout the whole ceremony. Before we begin, we just have a short video to share with you. Awesome, thank you. So before we begin, I just want to make sure that everyone has been signed in by an agent. If you have not been registered or have not caught up your card, your PR card, please raise your hand so we can ensure that everyone has been properly checked in. And just go through quickly and see anybody that is not checked in yet. Okay, I think we're good. So this citizenship ceremony is now in session. Judge Avery is the presiding official of this ceremony. So Judge Avery, in accordance with the provision of the Citizenship Act, it is my privilege to present to you 186 candidates from 53 countries who have met all the requirements of the Citizenship Act and are now ready to take the oath of citizenship, the final legal requirement to becoming a Canadian citizen. I now invite you to give your opening remarks. Thank you, merci, okay. Well, hello everyone, bonjour. It is so wonderful to see all of your beautiful faces. 
and it is also my great privilege to welcome you all into the Canadian family today. So welcome on behalf of myself and the Government of Canada. Now before I begin, I would like to acknowledge that I'm presiding over this virtual citizenship ceremony today from Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario, and I am on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit and the Haudenosaunee Nations. The histories of Indigenous peoples in Canada are very rich and diverse, and they stretch far into the past, thousands of years before the arrival of newcomers to Canada. The stories of First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples are essentially the story of Canada itself, and Indigenous peoples continue to play a vital and essential role in Canada's development and future. And so it's essential that all Canadians move forward together on the road toward reconciliation so that we can leave a proper legacy for future generations. I encourage you after today's ceremony to do your own research in order to identify which traditional territory you currently live on and also explore how you can honour Indigenous peoples in your own meaningful way as new Canadian citizens. So in just a few short moments, I will be swearing you all in as brand new Canadians, and I could not be more proud of you and for you. This is truly a momentous occasion, and it is the culmination of your courageous journey, all of your hard work and determination, your adaptability, willingness to learn new things and overcome many obstacles and barriers. And it is also reflective of all of the wonderful reasons why you chose Canada, chose to make your home here, and to become members of our Canadian family. Whether that reason was an opportunity to make a better life for you and your family, to unite with loved ones, work in your field of expertise, further your studies, flee harm and persecution, or a chance to have free expression of your beliefs and to live authentically in your truth with the freedoms and protection that this country offers, you have found success. And that has resulted in your taking this last step to become Canadian citizens. I commend and congratulate you all. Felicitations. Now, Canadian citizenship comes with many rights and responsibilities. We are a bilingual nation, so we speak both English and French, and we are also a democratic country thanks to our many military service personnel who fought, some losing their lives in order for us to live the life that we are so very fortunate to have. And we're also immensely grateful to the many trailblazers who have advocated and mobilized for our rights and freedoms over the years. As Canadians, we respect individual rights and freedoms as outlined in our charter and other human rights legislation. All people are equal under the law, and you now have the right and the responsibility to vote and possibly run as candidates in municipal, provincial, and federal elections. You are free to live and work in any province or territory, and you also have freedom of conscience, religion, association, and expression. Now you show your responsibility by obeying the law, volunteering, and helping others in your community. And by doing so, we help to keep our communities safe and welcoming. We deepen our knowledge of Canada. We share our very best attributes with each other, and we break down barriers that may exist between us. Our rights and responsibilities as Canadians is truly what makes our country so unique and so very special. And so as new Canadians added to this wonderful tapestry, your journeys and your stories are very important components of the Canadian story. All of your experiences, your innovation and imagination, your hopes, your dreams and desires are exactly what Canada needs in order to be strengthened and to grow for the better. And your stories have the ability to take on new meaning starting today with this final step to join our Canadian family. Madame Agriffi, je suis maintenant prêt à commencer. Madame Clerc, I'm now ready to proceed with the oath of citizenship. Thank you, Judge Avery. We will now proceed with the oath of citizenship. All candidates who are 14 years of age and older are required to take the oath. If there's any doubt that you have taken the oath, you will not obtain your citizenship certificate. Children 14 years of age who and younger do not have to repeat the oath, but they can if they wish. It is necessary that you repeat the oath in English and in French after Judge Avery. You are encouraged to repeat it in both languages as a symbolic gesture of your commitment to respecting Canada's two official languages. <clears throat> Excuse me. Judge Avery will start by saying, I swear, but you have the choice of saying either I swear or I affirm. If you have a holy book, you can place it in your left hand while you raise your right hand to take the oath. 
I now ask you to position yourself directly in front of the camera so that we may see you properly during the oath taken. If you're wearing a hat or a cap, please remove it now. Please pay quote, close attention to the following instructions. You will repeat the words of the oath as a group, one sentence at a time, each time after the judge. Please do not read the oath on your own. This is just a reminder that this is a citizenship court. Please be respectful and take this moment seriously. Once you unmute yourself, please be aware we can hear any and all going conversation. So please remain silent so you can hear the oath properly. The judge will not administer the oath unless there is a complete silence. Would everyone please now raise your right hand. Please do not use the zoom hand emoji. You must physically raise your right hand on camera. We will now be sending everyone a message to unmute yourself. Please click on this button to turn on your microphone. But please remain silent so we can all hear. If at any time you are muted during this oath taken, it may be due to feedback. Please try not to unmute yourself. Once again, be aware we can hear all and every ongoing conversation. We have an emergency like going on right now. Please refrain from speaking. Thank you. Judge Avery, the candidates of citizenship are now ready to repeat the oath of citizenship. Thank you. Thank you, Merci. Okay. Okay, everyone, we're now going to proceed. So it's very important that there's no talking with the exception of saying the oath, including those in the background. Okay, let's begin. Please repeat after me. I swear. I swear. I swear. Okay, so we're going to stop now. So some of you may not have heard the instructions properly. You have to repeat the words of the oath after me. If you read ahead, it causes a lot of confusion, as you can hear. So just repeat what you hear me say and nothing more. Okay? And we're going to start again. Please raise your right hand. And let's begin together. Please repeat after me. If I see a message saying you can't unmute yourselves, it appears that you have been muted. Please do not unmute yourself. Thank you. All right. Please repeat after me, everyone. I swear. I swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. Yes. To His Majesty. To His Majesty. King Charles the Third. King of Canada, King of Canada, Canada. His heirs and successors, His His heirs and successors. And, successors. Successors. and that I will, and, and that, that I will, I will. I will. Faithfully, observe faithfully observe the laws of Canada. The law of Canada, including the Constitution, including the Constitution, which recognizes and affirms which recognizes the Aboriginal and Treaty Rights, the Aboriginal and Treaty Rights of First Nations, of First Nations. In you and many people, in you and many people, and fulfill my duties, and fulfill my duties, 
Sorry, there's some feedback. If staff can identify who that might be, and, and, me, and that would be most helpful. Thank you. So now we're going to do it together en français, in French. I know for many of you, this might be your first time speaking. That is what makes it a wonderful memory to have. It means on your first day as a kid, you would have said your first real French words. But please don't worry, I'll be going slowly and you'll be repeating after me, so you'll be just fine. So just some notes here. Um, make sure that your um, holy book is maybe on your lap. You can touch your left hand with it and just raise your right hand. Um, I see that some might have their holy book kind of in their right hand. Just leave your right hand on its own and place your holy book down. Wonderful. Okay, now let's begin together en français, in French. I can't wait to hear all of you. Please make sure that your right hand is raised. Wonderful. Okay, please repeat after me. Je joue, que je, que je, 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 je serai fidèle, serai fidèle, et porterai, et porterai, sincère allégeance, sincère allégeance, King Charles, King Charles, me please repeat after me okay thank you awesome majesty awesome majesty the what 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 the Et successeur, que j'observerai, fidèlement, les lois du Canada, y compris, la Constitution, qui reconnaît, Et à faire, et à faire, les doigts ancestraux, les doigts ancestraux, et tissu, et tissu, de le traiter, des premières nations, des premières nations, des Inuits, des Inuits, Et des métis, et des métis, et que, et que, et que je remplirai, je remplirai loyalement, loyalement mes obligations, mes obligations de citoyen, de citoyen. Congratulations, everyone, for the citation. You are all now Canadian citizens. Bravo! Bravo! Congratulations, everyone, for the citation. You are all now Canadian citizens. Vous êtes maintenant citoyen canadien tout le monde. Bravo, you should be so, so proud of yourselves. Oh, I now, cry. before I go any further, I have to take a moment to thank our IRCC staff for all of their hard work to make this ceremony happen today. What many people don't know is that in the height of the pandemic, just as we were all getting acclimated to this new reality, and a new way of doing things. Staff across this country helped us to swear in almost 65,000 new Canadian citizens. In 2021, we swore in over 120,000 new Canadians. And just for context, you know just how hard we are all working from January to June of this year alone. So in those six months alone, we swore in over 180 
new Canadian, 80,000, sorry, new Canadians. And of course, with this ceremony happening, we just keep doing more and more ceremonies. Uh, and I'm just so proud of my staff and everything that they do to make these ceremonies happen. So if you wouldn't mind joining me in a very big virtual round of applause, this is how we clap virtually for Funke and for Brendan and for the entire team. Yes, so yes. very well deserved. As you all know, I'm so proud of you and thankful for everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Judge Avery. Can and thank you everyone for that indulgence as well. Now to each and every one of you, congratulations and welcome to the Canadian family. I truly wish you all the very best that Canada has to offer. So now for all of you, your journeys and your stories will be added to our wonderful Canadian mosaic that truly makes this country so great. When my own family immigrated from Jamaica 55 years ago, just like you, they had a story of overcoming many challenges, courageously making a home in a new and far off place, perseverance and success here in Canada. And I am just so happy that all 186 of you from 53 different countries and I are now members of the same family as Canadians. Now, please always remember that you are your ancestors' wildest dreams. They truly could not even imagine that you would be here right now. So please continue to hope, dream, and aspire to fulfill everything that you can imagine right here in Canada and as part of our Canadian family. I truly wish you all much success and a long, peaceful, and prosperous life in your chosen home. Congratulations, Felicitation, and welcome again to the Canadian family, everyone. Bienvenue à tous. Please give yourselves a very big virtual round of applause. So very well deserved. You worked so hard to get to this point, and I am so proud of each and every one of you. Welcome again to the Canadian family, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much, Judge Avery. And can we please give Judge Avery a virtual round of applause for this wonderful ceremony? As without her, the yeah. ceremony would not have been possible. We really appreciate you, Judge Avery. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Funky, and thank you, everyone. Merci tout le monde. I wish we will be playing a message from the Prime Minister and our national anthem. Today, we will be singing O Canada for the very first time as a Canadian citizen. This is now your national anthem. Please sing it with pride. Thank you for choosing Canada. We're so glad you're part of our country, what it is today and what it will be tomorrow as we build it together. Congratulations, Canadians, and welcome home. Merci d'avoir choisi le Canada. Nous sommes très heureux que vous fassiez partie de notre pays, de ce qu'il est aujourd'hui et de ce qu'il sera demain alors que nous le bâtissons ensemble. Félicitations à vous, Canadiens, et bienvenue chez vous. Oh. 
congratulations everyone and on behalf of the IRCC, thank you for staying along. This citizenship ceremony is now closed, however, it is photo time. You will be allowed to take picture with Judge Ivory and I will be providing you with those instructions. I now ask everyone, please stop your video so you can only see the judge and myself. Nah guys, uh, jadi seremoninya sudah selesai. Uh, nanti apa namanya uh, dari uh, government dia kirim sertifikat uh, citizenship by mail ke rumah. Jadi um, tadi sebelum seremoni kita harus dipotong dulu ya kartu permanen residennya terus baru out out itu kayak disumpah gitu nah nanti setelah ini mereka akan kirim sertifikat ke rumah by, uh, by pos atau mail ya jadi uh, kalau kalian ada pertanyaan tentang uh, citizenship atau seremoni ini kalian bisa komen di bawah um, dan Terima kasih yang sudah uh, menyaksikan uh, seremoni aku hari ini. Ya, terima kasih juga kepada semua yang support aku. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.